Hello, Marvelites! You're watching Marvel's Pull List, and I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Agent M. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we talk about comics here, whether they're some of my favorites that I have behind me in my bedroom, or some classics. Tucker, what are we talking about this week? Uh, this week we are talking about some classics. We are going back to Marvel 2-in-1, the incredible series that launched in the 1970s, uh, to spotlight a couple of excellent issues led by some of the most legendary creators ever to grace the House of Ideas. And the first one is Marvel 2-in-1 number 50. This is an issue centered around The Thing, and it is written and penciled by the incredible John Byrne. Essentially what goes down here is that Ben Grimm, he's got the uh, the emotion, the ennui, he has feelings about- You had to uh, put ennui in this episode, didn't you? Look, didn't you? You know, I had, you know, you know I had to, okay? Uh, <laughs> Uh, essentially what the thing does is he tries to go back in time to his younger self, his self in the past, to give him uh, a serum so that he can cure the way that he looks, his skin, his craggy, rocky skin, in the future. What goes down is not exactly a successful plan in the way that he thought it might be, but nonetheless, it is an absolutely beautiful, super fun, super action-packed issue where the Thing throws down with The Thing to see John Byrne's writing, which is so snappy, so smart, and uh, of course, his art, which really speaks for itself. It's some of the best stuff ever, uh, and I don't say that lightly. The action scenes are incredible. The emotion is incredible. It's all there, and it's all in Marvel 2-in-1 number 50. Yeah, and he uses Doctor Doom's time platform, and of the list of many things about Doctor Doom I wish I had in common with, one of them would be the time platform to go back in time, tell my younger self, just let your hair grow. It's beautiful, it's Colombian, it is who you are. <laughs> We're not here to talk about my hair. My next issue is actually the issue right afterwards, because they're bangers at the tail end of the 1970s. I've got Marvel 2-in-1, number 51. And while last issue was John Byrne, the penciler for number 51 is a young man by the name of Frank Miller. And this is really fascinating because this is only Frank Miller's fifth Marvel comic that he drew at this point, only his 10th comic that he's done at all at this point. And right before this, he starts on a little character by the name of Daredevil. But right now, it's him getting involved in a poker game. It's Nick Fury and Ben Grimm's like semi-regular poker game, which is just the coolest part of the Marvel Universe. You, you wanna be a the part- The coolest. Of, right? Like it's, it's a party, they're hanging out, they're having fun. This one is like, you know, you see some of their friends couldn't make it, so they bring in new people. All the while, they're dealing, they're having fun. Then they gotta go beat up some bad guys. It's really snappy, like you mentioned with the burn issue. This one moves quickly, it's got great action. And you can see, even at this early part of Frank Miller's career, he's got it. There's a double page spread in here that you'll look at probably for an hour. Just like trying to see the little details, look at the action, how it's staged. It's beautiful, but it's also funny and cool and really gives you a sense of being part of the Marvel Universe, which is all we ever really want. That's right, and hey, these uh, issues of Marvel 2-in-1, that's issues number 50 and 51, they're available to read on Marvel Unlimited right now, so go get on it, but that's not all we have this week. Uh, we have some classics, like we said, but members of the Merry Marvel Marching Society rejoice because we also have brand new comics coming your way digitally. That's right, Tucker. I'm so excited that we had brand new Marvel comics hitting digitally this week. We've got Ant-Man number four and Avengers of the Wasteland number four, both of which I absolutely love. Ant-Man kind of gets you right in the heart. And then Avengers of the Wasteland has one of the most gruesome, grisly, wild battles you're gonna see in any Marvel comic for a long time. And then on top of that, we have brand new issues of Ghost Spider and Ravencroft. Ghost Spider, of course, jumping alongside Gwen Stacy, which is a beautiful issue, even given the standard that this book uh, has set for itself. This was a standout for me, absolutely gorgeous. And then we also have Ravencroft, which is another one of those absolutely pitch perfect stories. It's written by Frank Thierry, so you know it's gonna bring the delights and the deliciousness, all of that good, bad stuff uh, that we just love. And it's all coming uh, out this week. I wanna see a reaction by Frank Thierry when he hears you refer to his writing as delicious. 
I would just want that <laughs> on the next episode of Marvel's Pull List. But don't worry, we're gonna have more episodes. We're gonna have a new audio episode for you, which you can get wherever you get your audio and your podcasts. And then we'll be back here with another video real soon. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe.